Hey y'all, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my kitchen and welcome back to Make It Monday. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how I do rotisserie chicken in my deluxe air fryer. This is one of my favorite pieces to have from Paper Chef because it has so many different settings on it and it's very versatile and you can use it for all kinds of different recipes. But one of my favorite things to do with the deluxe air fryer is rotisserie. Um, I like to do rotisserie chickens or Cornish hens and it's really nice because it slowly rotates the food, it cooks it evenly, it gives it a really crispy exterior but that really nice tender meat on the inside. And if you're interested in your own air fryer, I'll link my website below and you can purchase through me. So for this video, I'm going to show you how I cook a whole chicken on the rotisserie setting and then um, also share a few tips along the way. So let's get to cooking. So here's the chicken we're going to be using for this recipe. It is a whole chicken and it's about, it's a little bit over four pounds. So we're going to go through with paper towels and just make sure we try to dry it off as much as possible. And the reason why we want to dry it off is so the rub that we're using will really stick to it without clumping up and falling off of it. So I'm going to go through with my paper towels and get it good and dry. Next, I have some homemade barbecue rub that I'm gonna go ahead and put on the chicken. So I really like this recipe. I found it a few years back on the internet and it's a really good rub. So I'm just gonna rub the chicken down with the barbecue rub and try to coat it as best as I can. Now that our chicken has the barbecue rub all over, I'm gonna get some baker's twine and tie up the legs and the wings. So here's my baker's twine. Um, I just got this at the grocery store and I'm going to cut off two different pieces, one for the legs and one for the wings. Okay, so this shorter piece is going to be used to tie up the legs. So let me turn it around here so you guys can see what's going on. Turn the bird over and across his legs like this and wrap this around a couple times and just tie it in a knot. With the longer piece, I'm going to bring it underneath the chicken and we're going to tie the wings down. Now we want to make sure that everything is good and secure because when we put it on that rotisserie setting, we don't want it to be rolling around or flopping around. We want to make sure that it's tied up really good. I'm going to take the bar that came with the air fryer and slide it through the middle of the chicken. And I want to make sure it's good and secure into the chicken. I'm going to take the other one and slide in and it has these little screws on it that you can screw down to secure it to the chicken, to the bar. I'm going to screw this in, that way it secures it to the rod. Screw this one in. Alright, so there it is and it's ready to go into the air fryer. Okay, so we're going to get the air fryer ready and plug it in. Make sure that you allow at least six inches between the back of the air fryer and the wall. Alright, so I have my deluxe air fryer ready. I am going to go ahead and set it. So I'm going to turn the wheel until it gets to this rotisserie setting. I'm going to push the button and I'm going to leave it on this 45 minute setting and after 45 minutes we'll check it. So to start cooking, you'll just push the button and you'll hear it kick on. But I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken in. So on the inside, there are two holes on both sides and that's where the rod will stick in and will turn for the rotisserie setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the chicken in. 
I did go ahead and tie up the legs a little better and added a little bit more seasoning back just because some of it um, came off when I was tying the chicken up. So I'm gonna stick it in the left side first and make sure it gets inside to hold the bar. And then get the right side in and there it is. So now I'm gonna do is shut the door and it's off. You can see in here, slowly turning it. Okay, so we're at the end of our 45 minutes. I'm going to take a meat thermometer and just check to make sure that our chicken is done. All right, so it looks like we're about 150 is our lowest. We wanna be at 165 for chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and set it back to rotisserie and I'm gonna do it for about, we'll say seven more minutes and check it then. All right, so our timer has gone off and I'm gonna check the chicken really quick just to make sure that it should be good and done. Oh yeah, it's good. All right, so I'm going to use this retrieval tool that came with the Deluxe Air Fryer. This is really handy because it allows you to get in here and get the food out without having to touch it. So, the chicken and I'm going to set it over here. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna let this sit here for about 10 minutes and then we will cut it open. Okay, so here's the finished chicken. It's been sitting here, it's rested, it's ready to eat. This is real life, y'all. While I was cooking the chicken, I decided to do the dishes. And when I pulled the plug, the drain pipe came apart and the entire kitchen sink drained into the lower cabinet. So we are dealing with a flooded kitchen currently. So this is our finished product. And uh, if you like this video, please click subscribe and like and leave me a comment and I'll see you guys next week. Bye y'all.